So it snowed this past weekend and we're now in a winter wonderland. However, it's supposed to go up to plus three tomorrow. So this could all be gone in a day. But this is exactly what I need for it to feel like Christmas. Cause it, we've had, we had snow in October end of October, so we had snow for Halloween, um, and then it all melted, and then we didn't have any snow until now, and it's gonna melt again, and I'm sad. So, thanks climate change. Also, good morning. I'm gonna make breakfast. It's my day off today, so I've got nowhere to be fast, and I'm very excited. So we're gonna start with breakfast. Okay, while my food is still frying, I wanted to show you guys how I make my lattes, which is just the most basic, basic thing. But anyway, I have some espresso brewing in um, my French press. Well, you know what, why don't I go get everything? That'll make it easier. Okay, I have my espresso brewing. I always do more than a shot because your girl likes caffeine. And then I'm gonna use my Keurig frother. I don't have a Keurig, I just have a Keurig frother. And I do oat milk. This stuff, um, it's good, but it doesn't froth up the way the stuff that I normally get does, but the store was out of that. So I'm using this. Um, it's still gonna get warm and like a little bit bubbly, but I'm just gonna do probably like about a cup of that. And then the piece de la resistance is the gingerbread cookie syrup. It is so good. I do two pumps like that, and then I froth it. And then once it's frothed, I will be back. Okay, milk is frothed, you can kind of see there. And guys, I got the cutest little Christmas mug. Yesterday, I love the shape, I, it's so it's so cute. But anyway, I'm gonna pour that into here. I don't know why I do the milk first. I guess you could do it any other way. But it literally takes up like three quarters of the mug. But anyway, then, time to press our espresso. And if you're lucky, it fills right to the brim. I'll show you. Because it's my day off, I'm going to drink this in bed and watch a Christmas movie because why not? It's time to refill my deodorant. I picked up some, usually get them in like a three pack. So I got three, I got spiced orange and pear, Prosecco and winter berries, and then just fresh mountain air, which I'll probably save that one. These ones are more like holiday, but I'm, I'm wondering is like spiced orange more Christmassy because this one clearly says winter berries. So should I save it for like January, February and use this one now? I don't know, but they all smell so good. I think I'm gonna go with the spiced orange just because that, f I, because the other one clearly says winter, so I will save it. Like winter's gonna be here for a long time. I'm gonna save it. So you just crank this bad boy down all the way. Give it a little squeeze. Old empty deodorant, new deodorant.
actually filmed five videos for her TikTok and Instagram. Um, so that feels good. Now I'm in my sweatpants and I'm cleaning out the dishwasher while I'm making a second latte. It's not even two o'clock. It feels like a pretty productive day. I do want to tidy up a little bit, but I do have lots of time. So for now, I'm gonna finish with the dishwasher and then I'm gonna make a latte, a second latte, because I love lattes. Of course I'm using the same mug. I feel like this is my latte mug now. But I'm only doing like half. I'm not doing, because I don't need the whole thing. I don't need all of that caffeine. Although I will say, I don't feel like caffeine really does anything for me. Like, cause I, when I'm having a latte, I usually am having multiple lattes a day. Like today I'm having two lattes and which is like espresso. And normally I do like regular brew, but espresso, like again, I'm having two, sometimes I'm having three. Doesn't affect my sleep, doesn't affect anything. Like I, I, I don't feel it. Like there was a time when I had to like cut out caffeine and I was doing decaf coffee for a couple of months and like didn't affect me other than sadness, a little bit of sadness. Just kidding, decaf is like the same, but it didn't affect me caffeine wise. Like I didn't feel like I was tired or anything. So blessing or a curse, I don't know. Like I just need the comfort also, I've had this Discord many times before and you can let me know how you feel in the comments, but I don't feel like iced coffee is a morning drink. That's like a little treat. Mid-morning, maybe mid-afternoon, that's like a treat. Like, on the internet, all I see are girls, women, I guess, they wake up and they make an iced coffee. And I'm like, how? How? Like, I have to start my day with hot coffee and then we'll see where the day takes me. I'll probably, I might have an iced coffee if it's like summer, but it's not my main coffee and I'm confused. I don't know, like waking up to drink an iced coffee, it does not sound comforting in any way. Like when I wake up, that's what I need. Anyway, I'm done ranting now. I'm back in my little hole. It feels so much darker down here. So I finished my book yesterday, my Christmas book called It Happened One Christmas, that's not what it's called. It's called It Happened One Christmas by Chantelle Gerton. Um, I started this December 1st and today, what day am I filming this? December 12th. So it took me 11 days to finish this and it's only like 310 pages. Um, but that's the fastest I've read a book, I think. I, every year for the last three years, I've had the goal to read one book a month totaling like 12 books a year. That was gonna be my challenge because I was such a huge reader in middle school and high school and then I stopped. And like I went so, I went so many years without ever reading an, a single book. Like that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. But I feel like that happens to a lot of people. And so for the last three years, I was like, okay, I'm gonna read a book a month. Like it's not gonna be that hard. But every year for three years, I didn't read a single book. Actually, it took me two and a half years to read the first Harry Potter book. I was like, this is gonna be great. I liked the movies. Um, I never read the books. I wasn't allowed to as a kid because of witchcraft. Um, so I bought the first Harry Potter book like April of 2020 because the pandemic had just started and I was like, this is great. I'm gonna have so much time to read. No, it took me two and a half years. I literally finished it the beginning of this year. I probably won't f continue the series because I, I don't feel like I need to. I don't love it that much. But all of that to say, starting July this year, I read a book a month. And I'm so proud of myself because that's July, August, September, October, November. That's six books. I read six books this year. And I'm really freaking proud of myself because reading was just not something that I did after high school. And that sucks, but I love it. And I also love really cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies, and this is a cheesy Hallmark Christmas book. It's very stereotypical, very easy read, but like, it's so gushy, and I love gushy books. So I read this one pretty fast. It was also like set in Canada, and as a Canadian, like, I was able to relate to a lot of this. Not the French part. I am not good at French. I'm sorry. My fellow Canadians. Specifically my French-speaking Canadians. I'm 
I apologize, but yeah, so I finished this really early. I had planned to do, I had mapped it out like there was just over 300 pages. So I figured it would be like 12 pages a day um, so that I could make it last from December 1st to December 25th, Christmas. Um, yeah, I devoured that. It was such a good, easy read. I'm in the middle of a series right now. I just finished book two. There's four books. Um, so now I can start book three. And that's exciting. I love talking about books. Maybe I'll start talking about books more. I love my little spot by the window. But anyway, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and start my next book. This is from the Raven Cycle series. There's four books. I'm going to butcher her name. Maggie Stiefvater. Um, she wrote one of my favorite trilogies, the Shiver trilogy. Well, actually, it might actually be four books. I don't know. I read them in high school and I loved them. And then when I was trying to get back into reading, I was like, I know that I like this author's work. So I picked up this series. This is book three out of four. And, uh, yeah, I like it. So we're gonna, this is just like my dream scenario right here. Like curled up by the win window. It's snowing. There's birds on my bird feeder, and I'm about to read my book. I gotta show you my birds. I love. There's only one guy right now. But look how much they drop on the ground. He looks so plump. I love him. to my kitchen table where I almost never sit because mostly it's just storage also sorry for my dishwasher being on if you can hear that if that's annoying I realized I didn't properly end the vlog yesterday so I'm going to end it now which is sad unless something else exciting happens but I don't think anything exciting is gonna happen so I it's like it's honestly it's noon but I'm just getting to my devotions now. Drinking my cup of coffee and gonna have a good day. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.